Hi, I'm David Gross, back with you to share a little bit of my wisdom for sublimation success. I have in front of me uh, two SG400s. These printers are, of course, made by Ricoh, and their older generation are printers like the SG3100 and the SG7100, and the bigger brother, of course, is the SG800. What I want to show you today is I want to walk you through cleaning a particular part inside the printers that we haven't done before. And why would we want to clean this part? Well, ultimately, we can develop what's called horizontal banding. So as the page comes out of the printer, you can see lines going across. And this can be caused by a number of things, including an incomplete nozzle check, um, wrong print settings. If you print too fast, you can get banding. Um, if your computer isn't sending fast enough, the printer can stop and start and you get banding. But after we've exhausted those, what may be the issue is what's called the vertical encoder wheel. Uh, there is a horizontal encoder strip that we, I do already have videos to clean. But again, this is the vertical encoder wheel. Now what this wheel does is as the paper is being pushed through the printer, that wheel is turning and has little black strips on them and that's how the printer keeps up with each increment of the paper as it moves through the printer. And this wheel can become dirty, especially if used in environments that have particulates in the air. Um, it, it can be, become easily dirty if you're traveling with the printer, if you have the printer outside, but no matter what, um, just check your air filter. If you think you have a good environment, of course, you're going to find out that there's all sorts of debris in your air. So I'm going to walk you through cleaning this. Obviously, as you watch the video, you're welcome to contact our tech support. Um, and we, our tech support may suggest that you watch this video and perform it. The things you'll need, of course, is the printer. Um, you'll need a Phillips screwdriver. You'll need uh, what I, I, I love, these microfiber towels. Um, I, I think they work great. And then you'll need some denatured alcohol. Um, some people might clean it with, you know, just wiping it off and that's okay. I, I like denatured alcohol. So let's get to it and I'll show you what to disassemble. Okay, first step is we're gonna open the uh, back cover of the printer and we're gonna remove it. Now, if you look right here, you're going to see that this side is a little bit different from this side. This side actually compresses. So to remove this plate, we're going to push just a little bit so that this compresses and this out. So we push this way. So we've got this out of the way. Next, we're going to remove three screws from the back. Uh, we're going to remove this screw, this screw, and the middle screw. So we'll start with the middle screw first. And then this screw over here. And I'll turn it a little bit to the camera. All right, so I think I have all the screws off for this panel. So I'm gonna change my little screwdriver to a flat and I'm gonna remove this and just gonna pop these like this. And what we'll do now is we're just gonna lift this straight up and this back piece will come off takes just a little bit of effort and comes off. Okay, now we're going to put it aside. So now we're going to turn it to its side and remove the side piece. And first we'll take the network cover off here. And then this piece has two screws down here. And this piece should come off pretty easy, as I recall. All right, so back cover, side cover. This is our, our encoder wheel here. This is what we want to clean. And um, it's basically a, a plastic wheel with a bunch of little black stripes in it. Now, we're going to wet the cloth with alcohol, and then we're going to sort of squeeze it lightly and to turn it 
we're going to rotate this little uh, the the belt, and that's going to turn it. And what I'm doing is I'm just lightly turning the wheel while squeezing. Um, you know, one one side of the cloth is on the back part of the wheel. One side is that, and you can see how nice and clean it looks. It's it's a lot shinier. I think this printer probably has been through um, a lot of service from what I can tell. And that's really it. We've, we've cleaned the wheel. It's that easy. Okay, we're almost through. I'm going to push this right here back into it. And with just a little bit of effort, we have finished it. So I hope this video has been helpful for you. Um, please feel free to contact our technical support so that we can make sure that we keep your printer in good working condition so that you'll have many years of successful sublimation. This has been David Gross with Condi Systems. Thank you.